See this? Not good. It's generally considered a bad thing if your your drill bit or any kind of machine tool becomes magnetized because the the chips will stick to it or the turnings or the cuttings or whatever you like to call them and uh, they won't clear out so you don't want that so what do you do well basically what I got here is just a microwave transformer and uh, I've connected a capacitor in series with it it's uh, the capacitor size isn't too important this one is five microfarads uh, and uh, you might be able to tell but uh, I've, I've cut off this part and remove the secondary. You don't you don't have to remove the secondary, but uh, I was gonna scrap this before I uh, got this idea. So I was just separating the the copper and the iron and stuff out of it. But anyway, you you have to cut this part off to do it the way I'm gonna do it anyway. I got some chips here from or uh, turnings from my my drilling operation as a test and uh, right now the drill bit still magnetized still attracting the stuff so uh, yeah it's just a capacitor in series with the the primary uh, here in the US it's 120 volts that doesn't really matter though as long as your transformer winding is sized appropriately for whatever mains you have in your country. Uh, okay, so you just put the drill bit on there and turn on the power. And it's just, right now, it's just very weakly attracting it. And uh, I don't know. We'll see here. I might need a bigger capacitor, but you just want to move it around and uh, just slowly back it up off of there. And that'll take out the residual magnetic field in your, in your tool. And uh, yeah, it worked. Well, it worked a little bit. It's still attracting some of it. But it's not like it was before. So after a few treatments, it should be pretty good. And uh, like I said, I might need a slightly bigger capacitor. But uh, yeah, so it's working. It is working. Okay. It's ba it's just barely. Yeah, I'm gonna need a bigger capacitor. Hold on. You know, you might ask why, why would you worry about something like this? Why would you worry if your tool was magnetized? You know, so what? Well, uh, if you're if you're cutting something like aluminum, you know, something non-magnetic wood or plastic. I mean, it doesn't really matter too much but uh, you know today today is my day for uh, cutting steel so you don't want those chips to stick there so uh, it's not a good thing because they're gonna stick to your tool and then they're gonna get between your tool and the cutting surface and they're just they're gonna cause more wear and you're going to be replacing your your uh, drill bits all the time, or if you have a sharpener, you'd be sharpening them all the time. Okay, I uh, I went and got a bigger capacitor here, and uh, 
It needed quite a bit. I actually had to hook them up, both of them, in, together to get enough. But uh, as you can see, it's no longer attracting it. There, There is a tiny, tiny little bit. I don't know if you can see that. But uh, it's still attracting this this piece here just ever so slightly I, and I, I didn't even know if you can see that but uh, it's nothing like what it was before and uh, you you want the only things about this that you want to make sure about is these have to your capacitor it has to be a motor run capacitor uh, uh, basically, it's a, it's an AC it's a special AC capacitor. Uh, uh, very low ESR. Uh, you can just you can run it for hours and it doesn't it just barely gets warm. Uh, they they're gonna look like this though. Uh, the reason this looks different is because I I removed its uh, I've removed it from its uh, casing and what we have here is just your uh, meaty center. Uh, but uh, this is this is just what's inside here. Yeah, so that's it. If your if your tool becomes magnetized like mine. This is a handy little thing you can whip up here. If you got an old microwave transformer and uh, a couple motor run capacitors. I hope this helps someone out there and uh, thank you for watching. Have a nice